Yo, up, guys? So today I'm going to be showing you the best build for the Krylophosaurus. It is finally out. This is my opinion on the best build. And I hope you guys enjoy. First of all, what we're going to want to use is Frostbite, okay? Now, this is just very good in general, to be honest with you. I mean, just equipped it because there's nothing else for senses. I don't, think, I don't even think this is senses, but just equipped it. Then we're going to get the bite, the normal bite, stacks up to um, five times. So that's pretty good. You know, you're going to get a lot of damage from them. That's kind of be kind of going to be your main damage thing. And then we're going to get tearing bite. This, and then you do your claw attack, your big pounce attack. It's just a great combo. So just get that in the like the start of the fight and you're chilling. Then do long survivor, 10% armor if you're not in a group. So yeah, I mean like if you're if you're not in a group, you get 10% armor and then also get we're going to get fresh blood, okay? Increases attack by 10%. When there's someone bleeding, 50 meters, and then we're going to get a claw attack, heavy claw, that's very good. Then we're going to get frost, this is kind of just like a debuff for people that bite you. Then we're going to get the kick, that's very good, that's going to be kind of our big damage thing. And then we're going to get glory, that's very good. And then we're going to get primal med, I mean it's not crazy, but it's, it's good, you know, it's a good heal. And this is what the final build should look like, and this is my opinion. But now we're going to get to some PvP, so I hope you guys enjoy. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We're about to hit 900 subs. Well, we're not at 900 subs, but we're about to hit it. I mean, we're not even about to hit it. I don't know. So in this first fight, I'm going against a Dime and a Styracosaurus. And I think, I don't even know how to pronounce it really, the Australivator. I don't even know. Australian loving it. I don't even know, okay? I barely know how to, like, pronounce these different dinos. Like, I know how to pronounce, like, you know, just the normal dinos, but, like, I'm not over here studying them. I used to, but, like, I don't really care anymore. But, yeah, I feel like I have this in the bag, but, no, I don't really, because I guess bro is too fast. That new raptor is actually crazy. So in this next clip, I'm going against a conk, and low-key, I thought I was going to lose this, but, hey, I guess maybe this is the best build for it, or maybe it's just... Maybe bro was bad, or maybe the conk got nerfed or something. Like I said in my tier ranking vid for all the dinos, it's not crazy, the conk, but you know, it gets the job done. And also, if you're wondering how big this thing is, that's just like kind of like a comparison to the mape. By the way, the mape's crouching. But yeah, it's not crazy big, but it's a decent size for like a mid-tier dino. Is it a really good mid-tier, the Krylafo? Not really, it's not crazy, you know, it's not going to be like, oh, it's the next big thing, like the Ceratosaurus or like the Mate. It's not crazy, or like the Akilobator, you know, but it gets the job done. Basically what I'm trying to say, don't run this thing if you're like in a tournament or something or whatever, if you're like 1v1 in your friends and you actually want to like cook, you know. So basically just don't run this if you're actually trying to like win. Now, I pretty much easily win that fight here, but now we're going to go against another fight here. Now, low-key, I thought I was going to absolutely destroy this little thing, but this thing's hitbox is actually crazy. I wonder why now, when no one was able to actually hit me, but, like, when I played this thing, the new Raptor, I did a build on it and, like, PvP, everybody was hitting me for some reason, like, everywhere. I don't even know how they were hitting me on my little tail and doing, like, 500 damage, but I guess they fixed that. So, low-key, maybe I should have done the build, like, maybe, like, a day ago. But, yeah, I mean, I got it done first. I mean, I guess that's fine, but, yeah. And also, here's a tip. Here's the thing, okay? The heal call is not crazy, okay? You have about, I think, eight seconds of heal time. So it's not really good, good. But if you need to pop it, let's say, and like you're going against a Serato, just pop it at the first, like, the first time you fight. Like, just basically, like, before you fight. And then you're chilling. You have eight seconds. Let's say he hits you. You just regen health. You're chilling. I think it does for group two. I don't know. Like, it heals the group two. But it's not crazy, so you got to look out for that, kind of. At a last resort, I tried to run after him, but it's not really anything. I mean, no use. I couldn't do really anything, but yeah. 
Now I'm going to go against the Dilophosaurus. And low key, I thought I was going to get smushed by him. But low key, I'm the goat, bro. Or the build is good. Or maybe the Krylof was good. I mean, low key, it's just kind of like a, like a bigger Dilo and a bigger conk at the same time. I thought it was going to be as big as, um, Allosaurus, okay? I thought it was going to be as big as Allosaurus, but then I was like, oh, Krylof is not that big, low-key, you know? But it's still bigger than most dinos, like most mid-tiers. But do I actually like this thing? I mean, it's kind of, it's speed, it's like, meh, it's whatever, like, it's not the best speed, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video, peace.